Well, hey family, this is Darlene with Jewelry by BDK. I am sitting here working on necklaces. I want to get a couple of necklaces made uh, for a couple of up upcoming events that I have. So what I'm doing is I went ahead and made one of the um, one of the balls that I like to make. And this ball, I'm using hand painted beads in addition to those real pretty white beads glass beads that I bought uh, yesterday. I love these. I'm going to have to go back and get more of these. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I just pretty much clustered a number of the beads together and then put one of the other hand-painted beads on top, closed it up, wrapped it, and now we have a pendant. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. It almost looks like a, what's them things called? Not a chandelier, but them little big balls that be hanging. So we got this and I did, let me do this part right here. Cause I am going to be using these glass beads too. I haven't used these for anything. Um, and I was going through boxes and stuff yesterday, digging out beads. So I said, you know what? Let me use these. I'll use these. I generally wrap these wire beads, I mean these glass beads and wire. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just use the glass beads as they are. I'm going to use a couple of these beads here. Let me check something. This one of these looks bigger than the other one. Oh, let's see. Because I do want the bigger. I want the bigger of the. Um, let me cut this off. I, I want the bigger the bigger bead to work with. So that will be these two beads I'm gonna work with. Um, what else was I thinking about using? A couple of pieces of glass. We're gonna get started with these. So I'm gonna move this out the way and go ahead and lay this down here. And hopefully you guys can see as I bead. So I'm gonna start off with these two pieces of glass, glass beads. And generally, down here, I like to put beads that close against the wire right here. So it closes. Um, but this time, because I like the way the ball looks and with the little, the wire, the way I wrap the wire down here, I'm going to leave it like this so I can see what it looks like in the end. Um, if it doesn't look right, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and take it loose and then I'll re- I'll remake it, but let's try. We're going to try it with these glass pieces real quick. Glass beads. And then I'm going to put a couple of wire beads. And then once I put the wire beads, I'm going to use some of the color wash black beads. And I'm hoping all these colors will uh, match up pretty good. And then I'm going to use the... Indonesian beads, the turquoise color. So I'm going to do that. Hoping it all matches uh, pretty good. So far, so good, right? That looks really good. I love the colors. Look at that, how that matches really good. Uh, the only thing, it, look, it seems like with the glass beads, they, let me see. Oh yeah, it'll it'll lay right once I get it situated. Okay, and we are going to use um, a couple more of the black color wash beads, and then the color wash beads. We're going to put our glass beads. I don't know how this going to look, but we're going to try it out and see. So we'll put one on each side. See what we get with it. Oh yeah, I like that. That's real wicked. Oh yeah, I like that. That's wicked. Look at that. That's real wicked. Okay, and then let's put a couple more of the color wash beads on here. The black color wash. 
and I'm going to actually finish the necklace off with these beads. These beads, mainly these color wash beads. <clears throat> Get it all mixed in together and see what we come up with. Um, I really like the 25 millimeter beads, but for some reason, um, I'm not using a lot of these. I don't know why, but I'm making a conscious decision to use a uh, 25 millimeter. Um, I like the bigger beads for necklaces because it gives you, you know, it's bolder. It's bolder. They stand out more. You know the these beads and this is going this is the wire that somebody had asked me that the wire that i cut i generally cut between 26 and 28 inches of wire to get a 22 inch necklace and i do that because at the ends i i round off and then i like to wrap a lot of wire around it um it, it's just a very pleasing look to me and i, I like it that way so i like the way this looks so far Right, so what I'm going to do, because the holes on the beads are pretty, pretty big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some smaller beads, almost like a cap, and put that bead on there so that when I walk, close it off with the wire, there's not a chance of the, uh, you know, the bead coming through the wire. So it's like the little bitty bead is like a plug. So let's put this one on here. And then you can look at it and see what I'm talking about. So it literally hides the hides that hole. So what I'm going to do now is I like the way this looks. I love the way this looks. Look at that. That's pretty. So what I'm going to do now... <clears throat> Go ahead and close this off. So I need to close it, close the end, one side of it. I'm going to wrap it. And I know you can't see my hand, but that's okay. I'm going to turn it to the other side where you can. So what I'm going to do with the wire, I'm going to basically pinch it, turn the wire over, and then start wrapping the wire like so. And this is easy to do with your fingers because this wire is a uh, 16 gauge. So I'm just wrap it. And then I'll wrap this side. And what I'm going to do with this wire, I'm not going to wrap it anymore. I'm going to leave it long enough. I waste no wire. So this piece of wire is going to be used to create uh, <laughs> uh, custom be uh, charms. So that is just long enough for me to be able to use. So that's where I'm going to stop the wrap off. And I'll clip this one right here. That'll be long enough as well. And then I'll get some charms out of that. I'm going to take my ends, roll them around, and then close them inside of the hole, that open part. I'm going to do that with this one too. Take the end, roll it, smash it inside that open part. And then let me grab um grab a jump ring. Um, because I do see something I I shouldn't even close this off because I see something I want to change. Dang it. And that's okay. <clears throat> something I want to change. I, I might want to change the, uh, the glass beads on here. And I did make a pair of earrings already with those white beads. Oh no, that's nice. I like this. Let me see down here though. I really don't. Oh yeah, that's good. That turned out good. So I'll go back. I got some lobster class. And uh, probably going to put a big one like this on lobster class and then double it with the jump rings. So this is what we got. 
man, that's pretty, right? These beads are gorgeous. I'm going to probably, when I leave service today, I'm going to stop off at um, Michael's and pick up some more of the, did I get these at Michael's? Uh, Michael's, Michael's. I think I got these at Michael's, so I'm going to probably stop by there after I get out of service and grab some more of these because I really, really like these. So I like the way this came out. Um, I think these I had got at Michael's, these glass beads, a long time ago. So when I go today, I'm going to check to see if they have any more of these because I really do like these. Somebody made something and they had these glass beads, but they were in a different color. They looked purple or something. So this is what we got. Um, the earrings, eh, they don't match the best, I don't think. So what I could do is maybe use, in fact, I am going to do that. These beads right here, I'm going to use these beads and replace these beads. <clears throat> so I'll keep the, the pink and yellow. I'll keep the charms on the bottom. And then I'll just change out the beads to some beads like this. And then that way it'll match better like as a set. It'll look better as a set. What do you guys think? You like these with the white to match either way, right? Or the um, the colorful beads replaced here. But this is really nice. I love the way all the colors and textures and stuff run together. That That's really pretty. And shoot, that was in a matter of less than 10 minutes I put this together. What, eight? That's really pretty. And then um, I'm going to leave it just like this. I am going to put the lobster clasp on here. And this will be one of the sets I'll take with me uh, to the event that I'm going to in June. But anyway, um, thank you to all the new new subscribers. <clears throat> thank you for joining the Jury by BDK Creators, I mean, not Creator Zone, uh, YouTube channel. We do have the Creator Zone over on Facebook. So it's Jury by BDK Creator Zone on Facebook. So if you do make jewelry and you want to share uh, pieces from your collection, you're welcome to uh, join that that group over there and post pictures and ask questions and all that good stuff over there. Okay. And uh, guess what, family? We'll talk.